Now, I got an interesting story here because I got a stock that is not on land and I'm thinking it's standing on a hippo. If you look carefully, you can see the ears, the eyes of the hippo, and this woodstock here doesn't bother the hippo at all. They thought, or what you think is a very interesting uh, relationship they got. We have already seen hippos and crocodiles getting so close by riverbanks or by lakes sometimes. But the first time I'm seeing this yellow billed stock that I guess she is feeding and enjoying the comfort of a hippo's head. I do not know how many other animals the hippo would allow. Oops, are you getting too heavy? Hippo, could you have been asleep maybe? Look at her. <laughs> Look at her just walking, you know, on, on, on the body or the back of the hippo. Yeah, she jumps and maybe she cannot trust the hippo anymore. Now she must be in water now and that's why maybe she has lost her balance a little bit that you see her flapping her wings. Ron, I don't know exactly how strong could be the PSI of a hippo and not like of a hyena. I would say hyena has very, very high uh, PSI. I'll be finding out for you, Ron, maybe how strong the bite of a hippo is, but one of its best defenses, or when it's dealing with its enemies, they bite very hard. With their ivory teeth, which are long and strong, especially the canines, I would say it's quite high, it's quite high. I'll be finding out for you exactly uh, how heavy or how big the bite would be.